Hello everybody and welcome back to Insane Brick Gaming. My name is VSDA or the Insane Brick if you prefer and this is this week's news for Ilevedale where I talk about all the week's gaming news gone by, uh, specifically if it uh, intrigues me or interests me. I won't be talking about everything because again, not everything interests me so you know what I mean but like I said, chances are if you click this video you are interested in the subject and the title. Um, also some movie news as well, at least um, you know movies coming out or suspected movies um, in production as it were. Um, so we're going to start off, oh, uh, it's just an update on my card catcher situation, uh, I might not have to reinvest, my security system basically was the problem, not allowing the program to run, uh, so it was my bad on my end, I mean, but it's never done it before, so I've never had encountered the problem, I have now let it through my security system, so now it seems to be running at full 1080p, 60 frames per second, so, um, you know, check that uh, play throughout, you know, continued, and it will be two videos per day now. Uh, minus Saturday, Sunday, you know what I mean. Uh, I have a break, and then on the, it goes every single day on the, on the weekday. You know what I mean. Uh, until we've completed that, and it's, I'm really enjoying it again. Uh, you know, and there's less bitching about the the situation. But anyway, on with this week's news. Uh, and first up, we have Nordic Games um, have basically rebranded uh, their entire uh, company into THQ uh, Nordic. Um, yeah, yeah, I have got that name right actually. Uh, yeah, so basically, THQ went out of business a few years ago, and Nordic Games actually uh, bought, bought some of their franchises. Uh, I, f I think it's the uh, Dark Siders um, franchise they bought. I know Red Faction's included, so they basically rebranded themselves to THQ um, Nordic. And uh, basically, that means they have 23 games now in development, 13 unannounced. So uh, that's going to be interesting. We've got a new. Um, you know, old uh, franchises may be coming back and stuff like that for the PS4 era, Xbox One, whatever. So that's going to be intriguing because, uh, you know, there are a lot of favorites in THQ. It was a pretty big company. Um, you know, I think they included at one point uh, WWE Smackdown, you know what I mean? Uh, that was one of their uh, wrestling games back in the day, which I used to play. Um, but anyway, on with the uh, more news now. Uh, Gears of War uh, gets a new enemy type. Not only in the new game will they be um, fighting the swarm, as it were, but they will also be no uh, fighting an enemy called the DBs. Um, I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I researched it a little bit, and from what I can see, uh, now per personally, it sounds like a shit name. The DBs, not very intimidating. What the fuck is that? I don't even know. Uh, apparently it's robots, and to be honest with you, I don't know how well that fits in with the universe, but then again, I've only played the first game, so, you know, and I love the first game, and I've missed three games since then, so I have no idea how that's going to fit in the universe, but after Call of Duty and that fucking shitty robot one, the, the sci-fi bullshit, I don't know how well that's going to fit in, I'm not really happy to f fight robots, it, it means fuck all to me, anyway. But like I said, I've missed three games, so I don't know. Maybe it, it fits in well, maybe it doesn't. Uh, let me know in the comments what you actually think of that, if you're an Xbox One player. Um, next up is No Man's Sky. Uh, now, this is a bit of a rant, I've got to be honest with you. Now, when this game was announced, I said it was pretty much going to be boring. Um, it's interesting and fascinating at first. Uh, yes, it looks pretty, I know that. Yes, it's going to be whatever. Um, but that was my overall opinion. After two hours, especially a week, you were going to be bored shitless of it. That was my overall opinion before the game even came out. Now, so my friend says to me, watch some gameplay, and I didn't watch the gameplay, and then I, I called it yesterday, so I thought, well, let's give this game a chance, and uh, I was five minutes into watching this, not even two hours, and I was bored as shit. Um, so I, w I thought, no, 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 let's give it a chance, let's, let's, let's be fair, let's give it 20 minutes, come on, let's, let's see what this game's about, come on. 20 minutes in... I was still bored shitless and nothing could really happen. He was doing the same thing, mining and stuff like that. Okay, so I thought, aha, I know, I'll skip two hours, 40 minutes in. Something's bound to happen. Um, I clicked on a video, uh, but it was basically, um, oh, if I can remember, what was it? Uh, space Station. Something to do with a space station. I thought, oh, that's going to be very interesting. Yes, we're finally going to get some action here. Science about to go down. <sighs> And I was still waiting for something to happen. Again, I was pretty much bored shitless. I then come across a guy on Facebook, uh, in a public group. He, I didn't speak to him on, I think he just posted up about No Man's Sky. That he had been playing the game for six hours. And he was still mining and getting minerals and materials to build his ship and all this kind of shit. 
and he was he was like, "Where's the story? Uh, am I supposed to be doing something else? I mean, what's going on? You know what I mean?" <sighs> Six hours. I mean, my God, and he's still doing the same kind of boring grinding shit. I have no idea. It's a grind fest, in my opinion. Um, <sighs> now, apparently, in this game. Um, you can feed animals, and um, but if you if you mine, apparently you can you get called, pulled over by the police or the intergalactic police or whatever they are of that planet if they don't like what you're doing, uh, and that becomes pretty annoying. Um, I, at least I found when I I did watch somebody doing it, he was frustrated at it. And uh, if you have a high enough warrant and you go to leave the planet to escape, you have the I don't know the space police after you. Or you know what I mean, or the space military. Um, that's I can only imagine that's pretty frustrating uh, consistently because you're trying to do the core element of what the game is, which is mining and doing various shit. You know, it's like I said, a grind fest, and you're being constantly bothered by uh, all these police and stuff. So it, it's not, it doesn't seem that, to be that fun overall. You can meet other people in the game, but the developers themselves have said that it's highly unlikely based on the fact that there are millions, and millions of planets. Um, you know what I mean? I think one person met another person on day one of No Man's Sky, which they, they even tweeted about themselves. They were pretty amazed at that, um, etc., etc. Um, now, in my opinion, it does suffer from open world syndrome, where it's a pretty game, it's big, uh, but there's nothing to do except for grind. Uh, looking for shit like gold and other metals and materials uh, to build your ship, blah, blah. Um, where it can be pretty shitty. Now, other shitty games like... Um, or open world games where it can be boring is like uh, Watch Dogs, Sleeping Dogs suffered from it. GTA it does uh, open world, but it does it it does it pretty good. Uh, but of course, any element of open world does get boring after a while. Even Metal Gear Solid gets repetitive as well. So a lot of people are saying it's repetitive shit, at least at this particular point in time, anyway, uh, from what I understand. Um, now, as I said, uh, it does get uh, repetitive. Now this. Now, basically, uh, when I saw the guy on, on the playthrough I watched, he crash-landed on a planet, and, um, you know, he was like, oh, what's going on, whatever. Now, my instinct, right, my instinct was like, oh, this seems pretty cool. We crash-landed on a planet. My first instinct was to grab an AK-47, an M4A1 with a 203 and some grenades, and take that bitch over. That was my opinion. Now, maybe that's the Call of Duty Battlefield uh, shooter person in me, uh, or maybe it's my, you know, how should I put it? Me being human, my instinct, my human instinct is to, you know, go in there and take over, you know, the planet or, you know, colonize it. I thought it would have been a better story if you had to crash land on a planet, took on some aliens and, and, and killed some animals and stuff like that and colonized it and built a city, you know, and, and did stuff like that maybe. I thought maybe that would have been a little bit of a better premise to, uh, for the game. Uh, I think overall though, this game might have been better in VR, it would have been a better gimmick if you stuck it in VR and then said, look, there's a selling point, it's a huge game, it's massive. Um, you know what I mean? Just one more gimmick to, to, to put on VR. I don't think it is nothing to do with VR. It is just, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, PC based kind of thing, scenario. Um, now, there are, now there are some, uh, like, pros to this game though, overall, which I think is kind of interesting. Hold on, let's just scroll down here. Now, the, uh, the worlds are generated randomly, or the planets or what have you. Now, apparently, according to the developers, if you played for one year, you would have explored only 9% of the game. One year, and you would have done 9% of the game? That's it? That's pretty fucking incredible. So it's packed with content in terms of, or not content, but like how big it is. But what is there to do in there? They might change it soon. They might improve it with updates where they add events to it as well and stuff like that. That's, that'd be pretty cool. I can only imagine it's going to come in the updates uh, and stuff like that, you know, like Destiny did. Um, there is a story to do with No Man's Sky. I have no idea what it is. Um, and, but unlike Destiny, um, well, actually, I'll get into that a little bit uh, in a minute. Uh, now, basically, the possibilities, at least in my opinion, for how big this game is, are endless. Uh, if you scale that back 40%, even 60%, and you put that on... on that you kind of premise in another universe, like the Mass Effect universe, the Star Wars universe, Halo universe. Holy shit, think how big and amazing that would be uh, in those kinds of universes. That would be incredible. Uh, you know, um, my idea basically, um, maybe they will do it, I don't know, or what have you, um, where wars break out, 
Like, you know, depending on your decisions, wars break out of other races around the galaxy and stuff like that. Uh, you know, your uh, civilization is facing a black hole, meteors coming down on your uh, planet or whatever it is, you know what I mean? That would be pretty fucking cool if you're in a Halo universe or the Star Wars universe and new enemies uh, come up here and there and rival races. That would be fucking awesome. It's, so, it's got a lot of promising aspects to it in theory. Um, it's just depending on what other developers do with that, if they can do anything with it, how big they want to make it. But uh, it opens up a whole new scenario, and I think that is the future of actual gaming. Uh, you know, like the uh, generated worlds where things happen randomly and stuff like that. That would keep it very interesting, very, very fresh. Um, but again, that's just, uh, you know, my opinion on the subject. You may love No Man's Sky. Um, now, my friend did buy the game. He paid the full retail price of £50. And based on the fact that I know what it is and I get quite bored of it quite quickly... I, as soon as I found out he paid full price for it, I instantly looked for the bitch slap button on my computer to slap him through Skype because I knew exactly what the game was and I, and he said, oh, you, uh, you didn't give me your opinion on it. I said, you should have waited a day. You know what I mean? Um, but I said, that, that, that's still no excuse because you saw what the game is, you watched the gameplay, you saw the playthroughs, and you still bought the game. So, if you see a piece of shit, and I'm just going to use that as reference, you see a piece of shit, uh... They use a piece of shit. They, you know, it is a piece of shit. You get it home, you buy it, you get it home, you don't open a box and go, oh, it's a piece of shit. You don't. You know, you, you know what it was when, when you saw it, from when you bought it, when you opened it. How the hell did you come to that conclusion? Now, don't get me wrong, the game might, you might enjoy the game, and that's fine, but I personally am not into that type of game. It, I will not be playing it. Uh, even picking up a, a, a price of five or ten pounds or whatever, uh, on Steam or anything like that, I'm still not interested in it. It's, it's a grind fest, it's boring to me. Uh, I have no interest in it whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I was I was quite surprised. That, boy, anyway, long story short, after about an hour, he actually sold the game. Uh, no, he didn't sell the game. Sorry, he uh, sent it back. And I said, "Well, there you go. I told you. That's you know what I mean." But it, it is what it is. I mean, don't get wrong. If you play it and you are enjoying it, uh, please let me know. Uh, you know what kind of gamer are you? Because um, I, uh, I don't know where this game is going for. Who whose fan base is RPG element? I mean, grinding and grinding. Um, keep going to another planet and doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. I don't know who that's really marketed to. I can't really think. Um, at least the game, I'd give it one to, to the developers though. They did say, this is a game, this is what we got, here's some gameplay. That is what it is, enjoy it. Destiny, on the other hand, said we were going to have an epic story, put us in a game, and said, oh no, 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 no the story is over there on, the, on that website. You have to read the backstory, you know what I mean? Fuck you. Um, so, Props to the developers. I don't know if it's been a major success, No Man's Sky, uh, or how much it's made and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really concerned. At least they were honest about what the product they got. But uh, if you did buy the game and you hate it, I don't understand why you even bought it to begin with. Because it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, they showed you it and you bought it. So, um, you know. Like I said, let me know in the comments about what kind of gamer are you if I've got this game and are basically playing it. Um, anyway. And finally, movie news. Resident Evil... Uh, the final chapter is coming in 2017. Now, I love the franchise. I know a lot of people or gamers hate it. I know or hate on it. I get it. I get it. I'm not going to try and force you to love it or convince you that it's a great film or franchise. I enjoy it in particular, so I, it's, I buy it. And I will be looking forward to the last and final chapter of the series, um, where Alice apparently goes back to Raccoon City, and she uh, has an idea to wipe out all the zombies for the infection. <sighs> I, I don't know how that's going to work. I mean, I'm unsure of it. Bad guys that reappear, uh, such as Wesker and somebody else, the Doctor or whatever. I can't remember. He was in the desert one. You know, he was the main bad guy. Um, so I'm not sure how it's all going to end, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, Superman uh, 2 is in development in 2017 or 18. It is scheduled uh, to start development. They're very high on interest on it. A lot of fans wanted it. And the studio is very cont uh, very excited to make a new one, and it's a top priority for them, apparently, as well, which is a good thing. Uh, but there's so many other movies coming out, like the Justice League and stuff like that, 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 that that's that been put on hold for a little bit. But, yeah, the rumor is 2017, 2018. I'm not worried about that franchise. I think it's very, very good. And I think um, a lot of people, you know, it, the interest will remain high. Anyway, guys, uh, also this week's Netflix recommendations for me is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That's on Netflix in the UK version. And uh, if you're into dramas, uh, Autumn's Concerto it is in Mandarin, uh, subtitled, where a uh, girl basically who is rich 
her father dies and she uh, you know loses that wealth and all that money as a child and she grows up poor you know working hard uh, age 21 trying to get into university and she comes across this guy who's a bit of a rich snob and uh, you know he teases her and you know uh, manipulates her and, and all kinds of stuff and there's a friend also that's in love with her and he hasn't told her and you know what I mean it's it's that kind of uh, premise a typical anime premise uh, to be honest with you um, but anyway guys that's it for this week's News Friday sorry it was a bit long mostly No Man's Sky based there wasn't a lot of um, news to, uh, out this week to be honest with you uh, please like share comment and subscribe and follow me on Facebook Twitter uh, and also Instagram, I've got a new Instagram, there's not too much on there to be honest with you, at least right now, but uh, I'll update it and stuff yeah, as and when, but you'll most likely get me on Facebook where I can do update, updates constantly about my content, what's going on, and I post memes and stuff like that and videos uh, of random things that I find as well, so uh, I will see you next time, thanks for watching.